Rolling like a rolly poly. Are we rolling? <laughs> it's been such a while. It's been such a while. I've been by la paper and pay. Paper and pay. Hey, sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar. There's this dance that they call Bese. Abi? Demola, what's it called? You know the dance I'm talking about. Stop fronting. This one that they'll be doing. They'll not be doing footwork. Okay. I'm going to learn it before this year end. And I'm going to video it. And then you guys are going to tell me what you think about it. So um, I realized that since the first time I started my channel, I haven't done like a proper Q&A. So I put on Instagram that kind of, you know, ask me any question and I would answer it on my vlog. And I let everybody know that, you know, I will call your name out. So I will read your IG handle and then I'll read the question you asked me. So let's see how this goes. This is going to be really interesting because I'll be seeing some out-of-pocket questions. Questions that you should not be asking anybody that don't concern you. But it's okay. I'm also aka tired. It's been a very stressful weekend. But you know what? In all things, give tons. So let's get straight into this video. If you have not subscribed, ep is sister out. Tens a lot. I see you. I appreciate you. Just throwing this out there too. If you have not seen episode one and two of Skinny Girl in Transit season five, Please ask yourself, ask the people around you, what are you doing? Educate yourself. Get on Indani TV and watch it. So the questions are all over the place. I, I really could only take screenshots. So let's see. You ask people, ask me any question. One person you ask like four, but let's go into it. Um, <laughs> the most one that I'm always saying. This is from Madge underscore DW. Um, do you see yourself and Mide? Don't know his real name. Dating in real life. We're just friends, guys. I don't see us dating. We're good friends, we get along, but that's where it is, if I'm being honest with you. Except there's something else that you see, you can please let me know, because a lot of you seem to be very more involved and know more about my life than I do. So at this point, you know, y'all tell me, tell me please. Till then, <clears throat> would you ever fall in love with me day from Skinny Girl in Transit? This is from Ijo underscore girl. Hi, Ijo girl. How far now? My data sister. No. Did you always know you wanted to be in the media industry? By the way, I love you so much. This is from underscore Tyra dot R. Hi, Tyra. How are you? Um, first of all, thank you so much for the love. I appreciate you. Um, no, I really never thought about the fact that I wanted to be in the media or in this industry. If I'm being honest, it, was, it never crossed my mind. Ever. I just always knew that I just wanted to be known for doing good things. How the good things are going to come about? No clue. But I just said, God, you have blessed me with talents. Talents. Please just help me find a way to be able to reach people. And he's just been showing himself. God, sometimes he be showing off. So he's been showing himself. Please, Bimbo, can I get a chance of meeting you in person so we can hang out? Please, please, please. It's from it's underscore JB. Hi, mama. Send me a DM. I got you. Ada underscore baby. What inspires you in life and what makes you happy? What inspires me in life? Just life generally. Just the opportunity to wake up every day and choose to start that day anew, afresh. It's enough grace, so it inspires me. I won't lie. Because it's like, okay, yesterday has happened. You can't change yesterday. You can't rewrite it. You can only change and make impacts for today. So, yeah. What makes me happy? Me just being me. I realize that I make myself happy. It's, 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 it's a conscious effort and it's still being a conscious effort. But I make myself happy. Ultimately, I cannot put my happiness in somebody else. I cannot put it in something. I can only put it in God and myself. So every day I wake up, I choose to be happy. Sometimes I'm better than others. But yeah. I make myself happy. Shanti underscore Pat underscore. Why are you so fine now? Cut more fine for me. Oh yeah? Bah. Take it. Take the fineness. It's God's grace. Trust me. Because shoot. <laughs> I'll be struggling sometimes, y'all. So wear this eyebrow today. Because it's a wearing stuff. Demola, did I not wear this eyebrow this morning? Say, let them hear you. Yes. Good. To so wear this eyebrow today was a struggle. Please, before I ask, will you call our handle when giving answers? Ah, yes, 
Actually, I will, but I'm not calling yours because you didn't ask any questions. So it's okay. Um, Bia underscore Irabo. Are you in a relationship? <laughs> I was going to give such a sh answer. I said, let me behave myself. But I will still give it because I have to be myself to answer this question. Yes, I'm in a relationship with myself. Girl, my single. AF. Um, I do not know how to pronounce Ike Shirley, pretty much, that's how it is. How similar are you to Tiwaladi? By the way, I love your interpretation of her. Thank you so much. How similar are we? Tiwa and I, Tiwala, Tiwa and I, are we similar? <laughs> to be honest, we kind of are similar. I won't lie to you. And I think that's what, that, that's what's, if I speak English, if I, tabo. I think that's what makes it really, really interesting for me to play the character as well. So, for those of you that don't know, year in, year out, every season, I come up with the synopsis. And when you're able to come up with what you want the concept of the show to be, and then you sit down with brilliant writers who are now able to just interpret it like I see the way inside your soul is beautiful. And then because each writer and I have relationship, they actually know me very well. So when they're writing for Tiwa, it's very easy for them to be able to interpret me and Tiwa together. The only difference I'll say that we have is when it comes to certain things, borderline just relationships, to be honest with you. And that's I'm talking about men-wise. But apart from that, yeah, we, we kind of similar. Tiwa got better style than me, though. How do you do it? Your confidence is on another level. This is from Ayo Vanguard. Hi, Ayo. My dear, is Grace. I won't lie to you. I won't lie. This is not me even trying to be anything. It's just Grace. Some days I don't feel myself. Some days I'm not happy with myself. But I can't keep beating myself up every day for it. And I can't tell the world constantly how I feel. Because y'all going through shit too. And I'm not asking you guys what you're going through. And you're not telling me. So imagine if every time I come and sit down in front of this camera, all I do is just whine about how I'm sad, how I'm depressed, how my weight is weighing me down, how I wish I had more money. You will just be depressed and you never want to watch my channel. Not trying to say I fake it because I don't. But the confidence is just from the grace of God. Knowing that, see, whatever situation I'm in right now, it will get better. I don't know where, no. I don't know how, but it will get better. And just the strength to always just try and get my mindset in place. That's where the confidence is. I won't lie to you. And then I've learned to love myself. That is when I'm hard on myself. But there are more days where I'm just like, but you know what? You're doing okay. You definitely did not plan this, but... Go with the journey. God that sets you on this path is not going to disappoint you. So it's just grace. And I have really amazing people around me as well. I'm, I have been very fortunate to be blessed with an amazing family. My mother is awesome. My brother is awesome. My sister is awesome. My sister in love is awesome. I have really good friends. And if you have really good people that always want to project positivity, just you have no choice. You can't be down. So that confidence is just from inside and just being around really amazing people people someone says are you planning on learning more languages and why this is from underscore diane dot o underscore she asks like four different questions um am i planning on learning i i would love to because at the end of the day i believe that in this life god has given us the grace to continue to live every day so it's for us to also learn but man languages are hard they're really hard <laughs> i'm still struggling so grasp Yoruba and grasp Ishekiri. I will not go and add Spanish or Russian or German. It's just a lot. I would love to, I won't lie to you. So please, exposure, they say, is always the best way to learn. So I'm open to making new friends that are willing to impact me with their own knowledge and I will impact them back. So please, if you are anybody that speak a different language, please alert me. Come on, educate me small. Tense. Diane, again, you are here. Do you really want a tattoo or were you just joking around? No, I wasn't joking around. It's something I want to get. I just don't know when. Because I'm a bit of a wimp. <laughs> so every time I wanted to get it, I always wanted someone to go with me. And every time I wanted to go with someone, they kept on just being too busy for me. So that's why I've not gotten it. But I really want to get one here. So let's see. Let's see about that. Oreke Lewa underscore Africa said, What are your thoughts on Nigerian culture? I 
I honestly think it's a way of life that only favors men. What do you think? And I don't mean tradition. So what she's trying to say, if I'm right, is that she's not talking about the traditional aspect of a woman being so amazing. She's talking about culture. And she thinks you only favors men, especially the Nigerian culture. I, I'm a very traditional person. And so based on that, there are certain things that when I see people do, I'm like, oh, but yo, yo, tradition is tradition, guys. But then culture is something that changes constantly, right? And um, the Nigerian culture right now, I don't even know what's going on because it's all over the place. And it depends on what aspect. It's a very vague topic. So I wish you had been very specific on what exactly we're talking about. Generally and sadly, we live in a world where, shout out to patriarchy and a lot of women are like, and even men as well are like, F patriarchy. So at the end of the day, I'm all about just finding that balance. I believe everybody deserves every form of equality. Whatever you give a man, you should give a woman. Especially when it comes to the economical aspect of things. So in workplace, in the government place, in politics, and even in the house. As long as you are able to understand yourselves and find a way in which you balance out your relationship, Man, do you. But at the end of the day, no man can come and sit on top of my head. I was sent to school. I was raised by a strong woman. I have my beliefs. I have my own convictions as well. You cannot stifle me as a man. And if you are a man, man, and yes, you see me and you're threatened by me, then the problem is with you, not with me. I choose to set my standards. Even though I am traditional. Because ultimately, my own happiness is key. This person is obviously living under a tree. Praise on that scorch in a do. When are you going to release skinny girl in transit? Guys, please, in the comment below, answer him. Help me, help him. Praise. What are you doing with yourself? Official Chris underscore B. Will you marry Mide in real life if he will ask you? Mide in real life will not ask me. <laughs> we will not marry in real life. We are friends, guys. Friends. Oh my God, this is like, anyways. How did you know you were a good actress? This is by die underscore angel with an E at the end, underscore. Um, I didn't know I was a good actress. I still don't think I am. And this is not me trying to form because me and Una, we don't pass that level. I just, um, shout out to Lola Dead, you know. God bless you, ma. And Jade Salashiburu. Those are the two people that pushed me into this. Not pushed me, but when they came up with the idea of me doing it, I was like, Arr. and I was like, okay, you know what? Let's try it. You never know. And from you never know, five seasons, five seasons into it, we're here. So, yeah, I, I don't think I'm a great actress. I won't lie to you, but somehow it's just worked. And I think it's also because of the fact that there's really very slight discrepancy between Tiwa and Abimbola. See the big grammar where I speak there? Discrepancy. Demola, what does that mean? Chobo, chobo, chobo. Discrepancy. I go to school. Hi, not a question, but a compliment. You are pretty. By Q underscore Gerald. Thank you, mama. You're gorgeous too. I see your picture. Thank you, boo boo. Tens, man. You guys, you can make someone just be humble. Just be chopping humble pie. Stop it. Um, have you ever thought about writing your own script or a story? If so, will you produce it? This is from Hey. This is from Tihana Art and Design. Whoa, that was a mouthful. Um, have I ever thought about writing my own script? Not necessarily writing my own script. Um, something my sister told me, my younger sister, who is like 29 going on 50. <laughs> is like, you know, as much as it's good to once in a while be a jack of all trade, you don't want to be a jack of all trade because a jack of all trade is a jack of no trade. So based on that, she said it one day just in passing, but it really stuck to me because I'm one of those people that I believe that I can do a lot of things. And if I can do a lot of things, why can't I do it all? But then you also realize that if you try to do a lot of things, most times certain things tend to suffer. So I've learned to just pay attention to my strength and just focus on it. Now, by the grace of God, I'm blessed to be very creative, to also be able to come up with concepts and creativity. I'm also a good feeder. So I'm the kind of person that can come and meet me and I've been, but I have this idea. And before you, by the time you tell me the idea, in two seconds, I've given you a whole plan on how to take this idea from an idea into like full execution and all that good stuff. But then I've also understood that I can't do everything. I love writing. So I have like, if you Google me, 
not to sound anyhow. If you Google me anyways, I have a blog post account. So every once in a while, I think once a year, and it's always when I travel, because tranquility, there's sanity outside of this country, Nigeria. And every time I travel out, my, I, my brain literally feels fresh. And so I scribble down a few things. But um, writing is, I don't have the patience to write. So I know for a fact I will not write. I can sit down and come up with a synopsis and tell someone and then get someone to script it. And if they do, would I produce it? Oh, hell yeah. Y'all know me. I'm like a producer bee. I love to produce. I will produce for you. So yes, I will produce it. Yes, I will. Not sure it will be about my life or anything like that because I'm boring. But yeah, I will. Um, Tita Mamali. Woo. When is the cast of SGIT coming to Ghana for a meet and greet? When you guys pay for tickets? When you guys get someone to pay for tickets? Accommodation? Feeding? Transportation? Let us know. We'll be there. Till then. Sorry, guys. That's, that's, that's quite a normal amount of people. Who's going to fly them? On whose budget? Stop it. So me, 182. I want to start watching the series Skinny Girl in Transit. What's it all about? Google, Sumi. Google. Oh, Demola, what do you think? Oh, by the way, shout out to Demola, Green Eyed Cat, Focus Puller, Season 5, Skinny Girl in Transit. Clap for yourself. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Daniela underscore Leanne says, next time you're in London, please, can I beat your face? Girl, I'm going to take you up on that. Thank you. Uh, Miss underscore Olufumi says, how many siblings do you have? I have two and a half. I have an older brother, a younger sister, and a sister in love. So two and a half. It's underscore iceberry underscore official. Can you help promote my business page? Help a student hustler. I would love to. First of all, it depends on what you do, to be honest. But when people send me messages like this sometimes, I'm a bit worried. Let me tell you why. The fact that you think that someone has whatever amount of followers doesn't equate to cash. So the way you're a hustler too, I'm a hustler. These same numbers of followers that you're looking at and the same account, we're using it to feed because now also. So are you willing to help me in my own hustle as well? If you are, let's talk. It's help for help. Just underscore Dara, I just love you and I want to be like you when I grow up. Yeah, sweetheart, trust me, you don't want to be like me. You want to be better than me. Because even me, I said they try to figure out who I be. But you get the matter. TV underscore 89. Please tell me you and Mide are your lad dating in real life. Y'all look perfect together. We are not dating in real life. It's now getting old and tiring and sad. Guys, come on. We appreciate the fact that you see the chemistry, you love the chemistry, it works for the cameras. That's where it starts, that's where it's ended. I feel like at the end of the day now, the man, these people are putting sand in my guy, they don't realize. I'm single and available. Not searching, available. So please, this question that you got, stop it. We're just friends. If you have anybody that is interested in me, tell them to give me a shout out. I'm not being desperate, I'm just stating facts. Just so that you people know, because it's time to seem like as if the world is thinking something that is not there. Hello Abimbola, I just want to say that you're an absolutely beautiful person and you inspire me. Oh, underscore, you don't care. Thank you guys. You guys, when you say I'm a very hard person, I'm hard, like my hardness, eh? I am proper hard. So when you guys send me these kind of messages, I don't know what to always reply. I'm just like, how can you come to this conclusion by just following my Instagram page? It's a lot of prayer, but thank you guys. Um, It's underscore Dabel. I love your skin. Please, what is your secret? I want mine to be glowing too. Girl, all I drink is water. A lot of water. Water, water, water. Water, what? Baby, drink. Oh my God. Anyways, all I drink is water. I'm not drinking tea. And I make my cream. I said it before. I buy Ori from a friend. Buy coconut oil. I will melt the Ori inside my microwave because I'm too lazy to whip it and I don't have a whisker. Melt it inside my microwave. Put my coconut oil inside. Put tea tree oil, put bio oil, put, there's this cream I use because I have dry skin. So this cream I use, I put it inside it, put some perfume inside, mix it all together, let it cool. That's what I use on my body. Nothing else, I promise you. And then when I use makeup, that's it. Like now, this one is on my face. But I don't do anything, and I, I just drink water. I'm like, and I try to avoid direct sugar. 
direct. That's all. Olufumi said, how did your hair grow so fast? It's beautiful though. Thank you, Fumi. It didn't grow fast. My hair is three years in the making. Three years in the making. And I've cut it like three times already. And I'm tired. So I've told them I'm not cutting my hair again. Don't cut my hair. But thank you very much though. Um, Queen underscore Hadassah. Can we be friends? I've been looking for a plus size friend. Now it was this question that really triggered me. And I went on my Insta Live last night and I said, I read the question and some people were like, oh my God, oh my God. First of all, my friend gave her a nice reply. Shout out to Yolo Agwemini, you are my G. And then I thought about it for a second and I was like, okay, maybe she didn't realize what she was saying. But then after you put, can we be friends? And then you put a lot of question mark. You really could have stopped there, to be honest with you. You now go, I've been looking for a plus sized friend. Exclamation mark. Two. So you knew what you were trying to emphasize on. And it hurt me. And not hurt me in a negative way, but I felt bad for you. First of all, because I was like, is she confused? Are you not aware of the words you are writing? Do you pick your friends based on your size or based on their looks? I don't know. How do you pick friends? Because I mean, I was a bit worried and put off by this. You've been looking for a plus sized friend. So having a plus size friend, does it add bonus to your pockets? Do you feel more enlightened? Does your life change? Do you automatically become a millionaire overnight? And this is me not trying to even be negative about it. I really tried to understand where the person's headspace was because you could have just simply left it like, can we be friends? But then you came to emphasize on you've been looking for, you have been looking, so you have been searching high and low for a plus size friend. Well, sadly, I will not be that plus size friend for you. <laughs> but yeah, you don't send people questions like that, guys. It was very inappropriate. How do you balance being a lawyer and an actor? The lay, the lay underscore pious. Um, so the law part of me, first of all, I don't litigate anymore, meaning that I don't go to court. So all I do is a lot of solicitation work. So if you send me agreements to review, I review it. If you send me to draft agreements, I draft agreements. So pretty much easy, simple stuff that I don't need to spend max two, three days going through or coming up with MOUs, quick this, quick that. So things that are quick because at the end of the day, they send me go school, you know, go waste. How do I balance being an actor? Apart from Skinny Girl in Transit and a few other one or two movies I've been in, I'm a full-time producer. The grace of God is sufficient. It's God that is helping me in all these departments. And I really learned how, I really learned how to multitask for my mom. My mother was one woman when I was growing up that she's a lawyer. She's a mother. She's a wife. She's a housekeeper. She owned a shop. She was always going to Dubai to buy gold and sell. My, my mother had like seven jobs. And this woman was able to balance everything out. How? No be human being. So I know that God really never gives us more than we can handle. Gina Nicholas 57. Sorry, I don't have a question, but trust I'm in love with your voice and the way you speak. Oh, thank you. Oh, Gina, thank you so much. Sometimes I did tabo. And this voice people keep talking about, hey. Demola, what is it about my voice? Is my voice unique, yes or no? Oshé, Vardis. That's the best compliment this goat have given me in ever, ever, ever. Um, have you ever given me any other compliment? Don't let us show ourselves here. To work with you, I need to learn from you. I'm trying to find myself and get out of my comfort zone. Please. I have an opportunity to, can I have an opportunity to work with you? This is Miss underscore Diane underscore. Send me a DM. The truth is this, people, a lot of people send me messages telling me that they want to be my peer and stuff. The kind of life I live in, eh, it's not as exciting as you think it is. And I'm a micromanager of my own time. So I don't want a peer because I don't want to schedule another person's time or my time or emotions or feelings and I hope that doesn't come out the wrong way but I've just been very self-sufficient that it's hard for me to be able to put my schedule in the hands of another person first of all because I really don't need another person to help me to schedule God give me a hand give me a brain why are you are now I know that for some people it's like another means of work it's an opportunity to but I really don't think right now anybody's going to learn that much from me Partly because I have a 9 to 5. So I cannot bring my PA to my office to come and sit down on Demola's desk to be doing what exactly? Are you getting where I'm coming from? So I'm just like, and then the few times that I have 
that are my time. I really just want to be by myself. I don't need someone carrying my bag on a Saturday when I'm going to the gym or on a Sunday when I go to church and I come back and I'm going for an event. For me, it's never that deep. All those things are just extra. Mm -mm. For some people, I guess it works for them. I just, yeah, I don't need it. It's the same way that before I would get a driver, eh, I probably need to have like two kids and I'd be under a lot of stress. If not, I would drive myself to and fro. I just don't think if I don't need it, why get it when I can do it myself? Adi underscore crown says, after marriage, that is, is it a must for them to change their last name? Huh. So this now boils down to where there's that thin line between tradition and culture, right? Traditionally, they say, because now person come up with it, they say that, you know, you should, when a woman gets married, she should change her last name. But culturally, things have changed. You have women now who keep their last names. You have certain men who now even pick up their wives' last names. So I guess to each his own really and truly. But me, just out of respect for whoever I marry, the fact that I have your last name doesn't mean that you own me, first of all. I'm not one of those people. I, I, don't, I don't get in my feelings when it comes to things like that. So, yeah. Just out of respect to my husband and to my husband's family, I will take his last name. I do pray that it's a last name that makes sense. You understand me? Because, you know, <laughs> I've been black Craig does have a ring to it. <laughs> but if it's not, and if it is getting me, we will manage it like that. And our children, we bear the same last name and they will carry it with pride. To be honest with you, I personally, I will take my husband's last name. Just out of respect to him. So that he know that I'm going to ride to the end. You get me? So I will, just out of respect to him and his family. Ashley underscore Daniel says, how do you cope with negative vibes from the world? Bad energy stay far away. Let me tell you why. First of all, in my head, generally speaking, there's a lot of negativity. And I'm okay sharing that with the world and letting people know. Because there's a struggle that we all struggle with, which is the good and the bad. And so that's why before anybody can tell me anything negative, I already most likely have either told myself or I'm aware of. And that's because I've learned to know myself very well. But then there's always a struggle between the angel and the devil. So now you now imagine when I allow other people with their own negativity come and hold my spirit down. You can't. You can't. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I refuse to. I brush it off. Like the message I read about the person saying that they needed a friend and they've always wanted a plus size friend. It really just irked me the wrong way because I hate labels. And I felt sad with the fact that, wow, how dare you from where to where to come and call me plus size? Am I calling myself plus size? that you will call me plus size. There's so much negativity out there. Last video I put up as well, I was talking about how people need to be learned to be kind to celebrities. And somebody said, how about celebrities being kind to them as well? And I said, the biggest problem that we have is the fact that everybody puts people in boxes, first of all, when it comes to this celebrity status. If I did not tell you I'm a celeb, why are you telling me I'm a celeb? I'm not a celeb, my name is Amin Bola Craig. I'm a regular Joe. Just fortunate enough to be known by a few people, full stop. You don't add, you don't take. I don't carry it on my shoulder and act like as if no, it's something that great. But then you have people that constantly send me messages that are trying to pull me down. Someone sent me a message the other day about, um, okay, I think it was a video I put up of myself and Ayola, my friend, me did to you guys. And she goes, why are you always doing Shakara and always fronting for him? Instead of me to be grateful that it's a guy like that is looking at you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I don't come again, devil, I should be grateful. What do you mean by that? And I wanted to take it to Insta Live, but then I was like, you know what? This kind of people, I don't need their energy. I'm first of all grateful that I know who I am. I know who, whose child I am. I don't care. Sometimes it weighs me down, but I'm the kind of person that when I see negativity, I go back and I think, Bimbo, are you this person? This thing that they're pointing out about you. Are you really like this? Do you, do, you, do, you, do you exude this kind of attributes? If I don't, then I tell the person to take a hike. In fact, I push it to the side and I just continue to try to be a better version of myself. Because the world is full of hate. And there's something I learned recently from a book that I read. People who try to hurt people are hurting themselves. So what I've learned is that for every time someone says something negative or throws negativity my way, I feel pity for them. So I don't get angry anymore. I just feel bad. I'm like, ah, oh my shield. You must really be in a lot of pain. I am Abadel. Says, how do you hear from God? Ah, this is very intimate. This is very, very intimate. I'm not going to lie and say I've heard from God ever directly. I have never. But I have felt him. I feel him. And I, he, the way God speaks to me, he, he shows me signs. And he sends people. 
Those are the two ways I've ever heard from God. But in relation to directly say, ah, bimbo, I'm talking to you. I have never heard from him directly. That's the best answer to give. I don't understand. This is from Queen Dom with d double M's and then an underscore. Um, I don't know if you're talking about what's my best advice I've ever gotten or if I'm giving. I really don't know. But the one I've ever gotten, and the reason why I say ever gotten, I just heard it from somewhere, is the happiness you seek can only be found from within. The minute I heard that, I think it was late last year, it changed my mindset totally. 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 Because it first of all helped me reduce my expectations from people. It helped me also realize that, see, all these people that you always want to be around you, you want them to call you, you want them to check up on you, Everybody's dealing with their own ish, girl. If you can find that joy that you're looking for outside within yourself, you would be okay in life. And since I've heard that phrase, my life has never been the same. I'm okay just being by me. I want to be an actress. What do I do? This is from I am underscore Shemi Leniola. And can you help me with that, girl? Ooh, that's a difficult one. The reason why is because how do i go about helping you with that how and the reason why i say if maybe if i knew i know i know how i got to where i am and so i've said that before mine just happened grace it just god just did it i don't know how because i never planned it so when people send me messages i really don't know how to say this is what you do to be an actress because i didn't do any of that it just happened and i know that it can't happen for everybody like that so this is what I'll say. Please keep your ears open. If there's any time while I'm still working at Indani Dabajin Auditions, please come through. <laughs> Woo! Christy Adeni G, shout out to you. Sounding like my grandmother. When are you getting married? Because I'm so eager to know the lucky man. Christy, when God sees, I also am eager to know the lucky man. <laughs> And I mean that really and truly, because you're going to be lucky, because it's a whole lot of women. I am unwell. <laughs> so anybody that marry me, oh God, God bless him. God really bless him. <laughs> Maggie underscore Peggy says, how did you know law wasn't for you? And how did you make the transition? Love you, by the way. Thank you, Mama. Um, I didn't ever think that law wasn't not for me. I still think law is for me, which is why... When you study law, law is so applicable in everything you do daily. It's, it's beautiful. I know how far law has been able to get me, even just when it comes to my personal dealings. So no, no, no. Law is for me. What I just realized was I just didn't want to work in a law firm. I didn't feel fulfilled. I didn't feel like that was my purpose at that point in time. And so I literally just left. That's how I transitioned. I just said, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm done. I told my mother I was leaving and I left. Okay, Osa G. Ele said, what do you like most? Guys, this question is so evasive. What do I like most? My family. That's what I like most right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I love the fact that when it's like 11 o'clock, before I go to bed, when I'm struggling to sleep, I just wake up my phone, I call my sister-in-law. Please, can I speak to Dam Dam and Ayo Deji Pupu? That's my nephew and niece. And we'll just be chatting and having random conversations. I like the fact that when I wake up in the morning, which is like maybe 6 a.m., I will just call my sister who is in America, and we'll just be gisting. Random stuff. Today I was making lunch for myself while I was talking to her, and she wanted to go to bed. I just love the fact that I can call my mother at any point in time. I think I talk to my mother like four times in a day. Bimba, help me call Anuba. Bimba, have you done this? Help me transfer. Help me do... My family, I really like them. I really, really like them. As I've grown older, <laughs> I've gotten to read I realize I really, really like my family the most right now. So, yeah. Has anyone ever told you you look like tools? All the time. This is from Arise. 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 J. Yeah, people say that all the time. I don't see it, but people say it. She's a gorgeous looking lady, so shoot. I ain't even mad. Nihita. N-H-I-T-A-R-H. -H, says, what do you think about sex with your partner before marriage? Because now it seems you can't be in relationships without having sex. You know, this is funny. And the reason why I say that because the last part where I say is because now it seems like you can't be in a relationship without having sex. When I was much younger, and I'm talking about four years ago, I used to think the same thing as well. And I used to feel that way. And I always attributed the fact why I was still single was because of the fact that 
I wasn't giving it up. I'm still not giving it up. <laughs> but I've also realized that there can be intimacy in a relationship without sex. It just takes really grown, mature people to be able to understand that. Yeah. And what do I think about sex before marriage? It depends on what angle it, it, it's coming from. So we had this conversation, funny enough, on Friday in the office as well. Now everybody, what, why in a generation where <laughs> everybody now, if you don't want to sound kinny, you want to sound politically correct, you say to each his own. So let me first of all say to each his own. But based on how I was raised and my morals and my belief, partly, partly religiously as well, I would say no to sex before marriage, just simply because it tends to complicate things. There's a lot of spiritual attributes to it. There's a lot of bodily fluids. This is another conversation that I need to have with somebody else beside me that will give you one angle and then I'll not give you my own angle as well. So for me, it's a no. But then for some people, it's a yes. So, this means still trying to sound politically correct. <laughs> I can only tell you for me. I would simply say wait. I would say wait. Now, doesn't mean that that waiting is easy. Oh, don't be twisted. It is not. But at the end of the day, whatever is good is what we're waiting for. And whatever does well and feeds your soul and makes you happy is what you should do. So I would say wait. But hey, some people say don't wait. We're in a generation where you need to know, you need to sample the good so you know where you're getting yourself into. Who wants to marry somebody that does not know what to do? Does not. There are ways in which you can still educate yourself and be informed and be mentally prepared without physically going through the act so that's my opinion y'all now let me know what you think in the comments below not too shabby <laughs> how's dating life in nigeria or are you participating um for me dating life in nigeria is non-existent i keep telling people when i say i'm single and available i'm not trying to say how to get married right now but i have I have not dated in the past. So for me, I'm when I tell people now that I'm like, oh, if you have anybody, I'm talking about not even to marry. I'm talking about even to date. It's one of the things whereby I want to experience dating and dating properly in Nigeria. I, I have never done it. So I'm curious. I've been on one date, which was just, in fact, that's a story for story time. By the time I put it out there, people will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't properly experienced dating in Nigeria and I'm curious and I'm open to it <laughs> man i regret this statement i'm making right now in public but yeah so i haven't experienced it so i'm not participating in it i've heard a lot of stories but i choose not to judge based on those people's stories i want to experience the it myself and then you know i'll be able to give you my two cents on it because people are different right then this last one <laughs> are you a virgin <laughs> why do you want to know the answer to that question is in this same video. If you are smart, you go and rewind and you'll find out. But yeah, guys, there were quite a number of questions. I could not answer everything. I just said, let me take a few of them. I hope that has given you a little bit of insight as to who I am. If it hasn't, I cannot help you out. But yeah, man, let me know what else we should do. I'm kind of getting bored now. I want to bring Olori, Co Olori Coitus on this vlog. I just need to find time because her schedule is crazy and my schedule is crazy as well. So yeah, um, in December I shall be traveling to get some air and to breathe. So the whole of December, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to put up any content because I'm lazy. So I most likely will have a lot of content afterwards, but posting while I'm there, there's no demo, like I carry demo now with me. So that might be a bit of an issue, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, man, it's been great. Hope um, this Q&A, you know, answered some of y'all's questions. Um, I tried to make it not as serious as possible because sometimes that can be deep. And sometimes we don't need to be that deep. Stay safe. Be happy. Find your happy place. Focus on it. Hell, it. Find your happy place and focus on it. Build walls around your happiness. Protect your space both mental and physically. People only have power over you when you give it to them. So take your power. All right, I'm gonna see you guys later. Till then, Sabimba la pepe rimpe. Pepe rimpe. Sugar, sugar, sugar.
you out to their clothing haul, guys. But nobody sells me clothes. Mm. All right. Bye, guys. See you guys later. Debra, back in here. Anytime that you want some more Girl, you know I can't stay too long You know we gotta keep it moving on So say I took them all the time So I never, ever wipe